Hello, hello, everybody. It is Mr. Scrub Detector, and welcome to our new single player Let's Play. Now, you might be wondering how exactly we got here, and I'm about to show you. Alright guys, so now that we're all caught up, I just wanted to let you guys know exactly where this series is heading. So as you guys might know, um, we run a community server that I play on with all of you guys. But I kind of felt like I needed a world to call my own and that I could play on for a very, very long time. So I decided to create this world. Now, I will say that this starter island is not the best place. Um, the only animals I saw were chickens so far. We do have some sugar cane and stuff, but I think we're going to use this as our base of operation. Um, actually, do I see some... Oh, there are horses as well. Um, but the next step to our adventure here is going to be creating a home. So I think that is what we are going to do right about in this location. So let's see what I can come up with. What are we, in Minecraft beta? This isn't going to work. This is better, but I feel like we can do a little bit better than what this is. Many hours later. All right, guys. I think we have finally found the perfect design for our house, and I think that it fits exactly what I was looking for. If we kind of take a look here, I kind of want to put a bridge here and then another bridge here, or maybe just a land bridge. But I think that this place is looking very, very good. We have the brick roof mixed with the granite here, and I, I'm a big fan of this. We have a little bit of, like, vegetation storage. We I actually found a village, and on that, or in that village, they had pumpkins. So, I grabbed some of those. I will need one for, uh, for some pumpkin farm idea I have. But yeah, if we just take a quick look around, we're using a lot of different details uh, to help improve this place. I have a little cellar that leads down into the basement. I have yet to make anything of this. Um, just because this was very, very time consuming trying to get all the materials for all this. Um, and then if we go in, for the most part, um, I did a lot of the interior designing. I like rugs and whatnot, but I can't place any uh, just because I don't have any carpet yet. Uh, but we got like a plain bed with a little lamp here. That's our little bedroom. We come upstairs and just a little bit more storage. And yeah, I think that this is very, very beautiful. I also got like pretty much every type of tree while adventuring. Now I just got to make some touches to the, the basement. And I think we should be pretty much good to go. And guys, I think I'm going to do some of the basement work with you guys. Just to try and give you guys the experience of... What what goes through my thought process while I'm doing this? So first thing I want to do is I want to make this very narrow to get through here. And then we're going to expand upon it. And this is basically going to be our storage when it's all said and done. And I think what I kind of want, because it is a cellar, and I want to keep it in like a very dark kind of, like a dark and moist environment. I think I'm going to use a dark wood floor to add a little bit of warmth. And keep the walls pretty much a stone texture here. And I think we're going to mix some andesite, some uh, cobblestone, and some stone brick to give this the kind of life that we want it to have.
Just adding some of this wood, I think, really gives it a nice, warm feeling, even though it's in a cold environment. One thing I was actually thinking about, though, and of course my axe is going to break right now. I was thinking about adding some of these, the wood blocks here, sorry for my, my brain, and then actually stripping those to kind of give it some more texture. So let's go to our crafting table, and I guess for now we'll just make a uh, stone axe. That, that should be okay. Or at least what we want to do here. And just stripping these once in a while. And then maybe even like adding. Let's see. Maybe even adding like some of the spruce as well. And then stripping that as well. And I think that I think that looks really, really good. So I'm going to clear out a nice size here. And then I will bring you guys to the next step here. Alright guys, so I got the floor in place, and this is about the size that I want. I don't want it to be too, too big, because I do want to keep it like a little cellar. So what we're going to do now is we are going to add some support beams, basically, coming across and giving it a little bit more structure to it. And as you guys can see, this is the floor of our build up above, and I kind of do not want that to be showing. So... What we're going to do here is we are going to get some slabs, and we are going to slab that out. And I think for the most part, we're just going to keep the same aesthetic with the stone and kind of see how that turns out. So I am going to place these um, on the top part of the slab here just to cover that up because I do want these to be kind of lip down, basically. Um, just to kind of show that they are in place a little bit better. All right, so this is kind of the overall look here. Um, as you guys can see, with these being set down like a half slab, I think that makes it look a lot more like a support beam than if we had it flush with the with this slab here. Um, so I think now what we got to do is we do have to turn this all into stone, which it will show a little bit, but I don't think you'll notice too much. And if so, we'll make some accommodations on the outside. There goes another one of my tools. And it is a little bit dark in here, and I know on YouTube things appear a little bit darker. But I think for the most part, this is kind of the look I want to go for. And I'm really, really liking this. And I think that for our first little storage room, this is actually really, really nice. Tucked away in our little cellar here. It would be nice to have an option to go from the top all the way down here. And maybe we'll set up like a little bit of redstone to make that happen. I don't think it would be that tricky. Um... Just so we can enter this room without having to come through here. But we'll, we'll see that in the future. Alright guys, so I think now we have everything pretty much set up. Now I couldn't actually put these three high because of this wood block. They wouldn't open. But I think I really like how this looks. And I think for the first storage system, I think it's perfect for us. I did hide a crafting table back here. And I'll probably put another one over here or maybe even my ender chest. The reason why this chest is actually facing this way is because I kind of want to leave my diamonds in this chest. Or maybe my my valuables like my iron, gold, etc. as well. Um, so yeah, I think that this looks perfect. Now the only problem is... Is that I actually don't have much to store away yet. So... I think we're going to have to go on a mining adventure, and I think we'll do a little time lapse of it. I think that would be fun. Are you guys ready? I think what we're going to do is something that I've seen Mumbo Jumbo do multiple times, always in his first episode on Hermitcraft. He always does like an hour-long mining session that he kind of time lapses up for you guys, and then you guys can check it out. So I think we're going to try something very similar. We're going to go about 30 minutes See what we can grab in about 30 minutes and hopefully tons of diamonds because I am pretty broke. Okay, I found zero diamonds and this is not a good thing. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I am about to start the timer. It's welcome, baby.
So we are back here, and we actually didn't do too bad on the diamond front. This was the first diamond we found, and I, I didn't mine it until I could talk with you guys here. It didn't look so bad. So the first time we found was just a one diamond ore, which is pretty bad. But it looks like when we kept going in this direction, we found another or diamonds here which is fantastic and even with just this this is normally when i would stop even mining the diamonds and wait for the fortune pick once you get a diamond pick and then plus an enchanting table you're normally pretty good to go but i figured well why not i'm gonna be on this world for a long time i might as well mine these diamonds as well so we got another eight diamonds just from this or seven diamonds my mistake from this pocket of diamonds and not too bad and we will see everything that we got from this mining adventure. Oh, goodness, it's nighttime. We've got to be careful around here. Got to watch out for those spooky skeletons. All right, now i got to find where my... Okay. Actually, my house is uh, not not too hidden away here. It looks beautiful in the, in the nighttime, by the way. Oh, my goodness. All the, all the mobs. My bed is at my house here, of course. Um, but I think overall, this house actually looks really good, uh, especially in the night. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm very impressed with myself. I know we already took a look at it, but um, I'm proud of what we did here. Let, let's, hit the, let's hit the bed here. Hit the hay. All right. Good morning. The sun is rising. Every creature is burning. And uh, let, let's see what we got from this mining adventure. So it looks like we got 12 diamonds, which is really, really amazing. Obviously, five of those are going to go to a pickaxe and an enchanting table. Um, but we're not quite there yet. But it also looks like I, I had one iron before. We actually didn't get too much iron and gold. But um, I did smelt a little bit of it, so I'm not too upset about it. Uh, plus, we already have the armor and whatnot. Um, and then looking at a redstone redstone. I don't use it that much. So this is actually a really good start for me um, Obviously, I'm gonna need some more redstone contraptions and whatnot um, I'll probably put the coal over here um, a decent amount of coal Lapis enough to do some early enchanting pretty good. Alrighty guys, so I think we are going to end the episode there um, I am very happy on the progress that we made in the very first episode. I know it's not the longest episode, but in the future, we will be doing some longer ones. I think in the next episode, I definitely want to get some farms going. I do have some cows that are right over that direction. Also, it looks like some freaking raiders. What are they doing here on my private island? But either way, um, I do want to get a bridge put in here and kind of make this island a little bit more suitable for running around um oh no those are my that's where my cows are okay well guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have not already make sure you guys go in the description and check out my twitch channel i stream almost every single day i stream monday tuesday thursday friday saturday and sunday the only day i take off is wednesday so make sure you guys go check it out you guys can talk to me live really get to know what I'm all about. We actually have a community server over there, and you guys can hop on and start playing. So, guys, thank you guys so much again. Don't forget to leave a comment and a like on this video. Let me know what you guys think, and thank you very much. Hey, you guys. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, god dang it. Correct. <laughs> This is my island, and only mine. Bye, guys.